His strength is our heavenly endurance. Father God, right now I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that someone right now would receive this message. Cast all, let them, all God's people, cast all their cares onto you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God. Um, whoever is hearing this message, I pray over peace, joy, love, happy, happiness, victory, a fresh anointing of your life, a, a fresh peace, um, fresh strength, fresh endurance, and just know, without the shadow of a doubt, no matter what we're living in, no matter times we're living in, how much darkness we we're living in, or anything else, just know this one message right here that God has given me right now, that I that I just feel so comfortably in my spirit to I want to share with someone tonight. I will share with one of you, whoever's watching that. His endure, his strength, his heavenly strength is God's children is God's children's endurance. His heavenly strength is our endurance. Amen. And I just want someone to, and I want to, I want someone to know this tonight. I want to proclaim this in G, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, that uh, God is not afflicted by anything that is going on right now on this earth, on this planet. He is not afflicted by even a gram or a sentiment. Or anything that is going on in this world right now. Because he already saw it coming over 2,000 years ago. This was already prophesied. Two, 200 years before he died on the cross for our sins in the Dead Sea Scrolls. That were found. Um, God is not afflicted by any kind of darkness. Or any kind of evil. Any kind of bitterness, hatred or anything. God is not afflicted. By any of this or anything like that, in the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim this. That someone re received this message that I'm saying to you right now in your spirit, and I proclaim the mighty name of Jesus in your life today. Glory to God. That His strength is our endurance. Our endurance helps us keep, helps us to keep going. That, that no matter what happens on this earth as we live in this world and how how dark how corrupted this world gets that by his stripes we are healed by his shedding uh by the shedding of his blood on Calvary's cross that we can endure until the end and uh no matter what happens children of God um children of the one true king Yeshua El Gabor, um, the Alpha and the Mega, beginning and the end, that we shall endure until the end and keep fighting the good fight no matter what. That no matter what the enemy throws at us, no matter what our flesh tries to hit at us, no matter what, uh, no matter what happens, that we, uh, we will, we will endure until the end and we must endure until the end, but no matter what. God is not afflicted by any of this darkness uh, that comes over this world at any time, and neither should we as the body of Christ should be afflicted by any of this because this is our prophesied over 2,000 years ago, and that we, w with everything that God gives us as believers and tells us, we can endure this race until the end. So I pray over someone that will receive this message today that his strength is our endurance and we can endure until the end and keep fighting good the good fight until Father God Jesus Christ comes back in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. Amen.